Okay guys, welcome back. It's been a busy Christmas period. Um, not many videos are coming out, um, but I do have, there's gonna be a couple of other videos in relation to uh, imaging. And also we've got these packages here, which are a go-to system for my 16 inch manual Hubble Optics Dob. Now I've always used the um, equatorial platform with that the homemade equatorial platform and it's worked really well but with my findings on um, guiding and how well it's tracking and the ability to take 20 second subs depending on direction the scope is facing or three or four or five second subs when you're pointing to the south or or what have you um, really meant that i um, wanted to get a go-to system. I really love using the 24 with its go-to and um, I'm pretty sure that um, I'll be happy using the 16 in the same capacity. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull apart my 16 inch scope, the primary mirrors, uh, secondary mirror, um, the trusses and the upper cage will be all just swappable, completely swappable. But what I'll do is I'll pull them apart and I'm going to do a build log, build video of the entire process or just sections of it. Um, for all the people that uh, buy Hubble Optics Dobbs and you will also get a, an understanding for um, setup of your own dob, as in light pass, collimation, stuff like that. So I have to really focus on and um, we'll, we'll read through that. So what I'll do is we'll do a bit of an unboxing here, throw everything out on the table, and then maybe next week I'll um, upload a video, maybe just dealing with the top section, the upper housing of the scope, and I'll try and do some other videos as well. Um, everyone, lots of people have been watching lately, and my um, numbers have been going up, and I decided this channel has never been monetized, but I decided that I will actually um, submit my data to Google and we'll monetize it and any money I make with it, um, I'll spend on um, scopes and stuff like that and we'll just put it back into the system. I'm very lucky I've got a reasonable job and we've got a wonderful family so we don't need that excess money but in order to have a bit more fun with the hobby, that's what I'm gonna target. So like, comment, subscribe, some videos on to go to sleep to whatever you want to do if you want to hear my lovely voice for that but um, I will definitely be reinvesting um, money back into uh, my scopes and stuff like that so we can have a good year this upcoming year at the new place so let's stop crapping on let's start unboxing now I spoke to um, uh, the owner of Hubble Optics about this and I told him that I would um, do the build video for it because I have been helping out guys um, even with the I know people with the 32s lots of people with 18s and 20s are ringing me up saying what are we um, doing and uh, happy to give that out but if I can show you instead of writing it typing it in if I can show someone in a video, it's always much easier to grasp and understand. So let's have a look here. Don't worry. Hey, you wanna get up here? Come on, come on. Louis, Louis. You're just gonna sit there, are you? Hey darling, I'm just filming a video, so I'm talking to myself and the cat. Okay. How'd you go? Did you have fun? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Bye-bye, sweetheart. Love you, darling. Um, what else have we got here? Um, for anyone um, with your 16, these are sensational mirror covers. If you don't buy the um, the one on the the website, if you choose not to, just for whatever reason, you've spent every last cent to get the scope or what have you, know that you can use these. These are these are quite good. Um, 
uh, a shroud. I've now got a, an actual built shroud. I did have one that I made out of um, uh, sheets and stuff like that. Thank you, Tong. Wonderful. Uh, it's the owner. Um, what have we got? We've got screws. There's springs in there. There's lots of bolts. I'm sure that's as loud as AF. You can't even see what that one is. Okay. What are you doing, mate? All right. So the bottom section of the scope was not, um, it's not swappable. Uh, it wasn't just the, even though they're very, very similar, um, I thought that maybe when I originally reached out to the owner, I thought that maybe we could just swap the altitude bearings and, and run with it like that, but that's not the case. So I felt that it was definitely worth it. Um, satellite tracking, lots and lots of stuff with the on-step um, software, lots of positives. So I'm making this look pretty hard. Right out. So this is the base, very similar to my setup. Good knobs. Yep. There's your collimation knobs. Slightly different design than the 24. Really, really like the 24's um, design where your collimation screws are at the front, the back one's anchored, and you just tighten and loosen the collimation screws. You only ever need two screws to collimate your primary. What are you doing, Tiger? Hey? The cat's attacking something down there. All right, let's put that there. Those two things in there, they are the bars that will intersect and keep the um, the altitude bearings intact and separated. Right, well, that's it for you. These have been sitting at the front door for a week. Um, if anyone sees this video and then realizes that I did have an equatorial platform, homemade one, still happy to answer questions. I really, really like them. Um, mine wasn't that uh, accurate, like as far as DSO imaging, probably only like three or four second subs, um, but it was very, very effective. So that was. That was really, really good, and basically it got me to where I am now. Yeah, without it, um, I'd probably still be doing visual, to be honest. Okay, what have we got here? The outer two bearings. We'll get a better look at these. I want this to be a relatively quick video. We'll get a better look at these on the build, the build video. Okay, and this will be, the base, 
and it looks like it's pre put together which is really really good for um, some users I'm sure there's nothing else there um, users like myself love to deep dive on how something is put together so um, you actually learn a little bit about yep so that's definitely all there is love to learn when you when you put something together um, it's really good to uh, see how it's how it's made and see what um, what you can do with here. maybe some improvements for your particular use case scenario Now this one arrived, I did, the other ones that I've bought, um, they'd taken a little bit longer in transit, but this one happened to, I don't know whether it was just the time of year, extra um, planes and all that had been put into action, but um, because it was over the Christmas period, but it basically arrived in three days, which is absolutely amazing. Okay, what have we got here? Right, this is really good. Give that to the cat. I just covered him. Okay, so I'm not going to pull everything out at this stage. But um, just having a quick look. It's all set up. This is the back, back of the scope. Um, the front of the scope. We've got the motors, altitude motor, um, azimuth motor, the controller unit is at the other side, at the front, really, really clean, good nice lines, zip ties, stuff like that. I remember when I put the 24 together, it took a little bit of time to, to get some good traces about where it is. I will... Um, We'll do a quick film with the camera just so you can look at what I'm looking at and also there is um, there is also the the base and the housing and the mirror cell the wires are already on as well now I will put um, some plastic uh, pads on there, some hard nylon plastic pads that I've still got left over from the 24 that I ended up going with there, but um, this all looks really good. So lots of this stuff is put together that we were going to talk about, but um, I will go through how I put them together. And just in case you buy a manual scope, you will be building your own and I will give you my insights to that as well. So that's about it. I'll um, talk to you all later and bye for now.